Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss properties of addition. First of all, we will discuss some important points. The numbers to be added are called addends. The result of addition is called the sum. For example, in the number 50 plus 5. So this 55 is my sum and 50 and 5 are my addends. So now let us discuss properties of addition. First property, addition of 1. When 1 is added to a number, the sum is the successor of the number. That is the number which comes after. For example, suppose the number is 900 and I have to add 1. So my answer is 901. There is no need to add this number with 1, show the addition and then find out the answer. You can simply write down the number which comes after this number. Our next number is 1999 plus 1. So I will simply write down the number which comes after this number that is 2000. So this is our first property addition of 1. Let's discuss our second property addition of 0. When 0 is added to a number the sum is the number itself. It means when any number is added to a zero, the answer is same. So, for example, the number is 9048. So, if when I add zero to this, so my answer is 9048. Second example, 99. When zero is added to this number, so my answer is the same, 99. So this is my second property. It says that whenever 0 is added to any number, our sum is the number itself. Third property, pro order property of addition. It means that number can be added in any order. Their sum will remain the same. This we are talking about addition. So we can write the number in any order. For example, I have these two numbers 175 and 308. So when I wrote 175 at the first, my answer is 483. When I wrote down this number in the second place, then also my answer is the same. So I can write the numbers, so I can write the A tens in any order. Fourth property is grouping property of addition. This is the last property. It means that you can group three or more numbers in any way to add. Their sum will remain the same. For example, if we are, I am given three numbers, 5, 6 and 7. So I can firstly add 5 and 6. Then after that I will add 7 and my answer is 18. Or I can do like that, I can firstly add 6 and 7 and then I can go to 5. But my answer will be same in both the cases. Now we will discuss few examples of properties of addition. Okay, so this is, these are the fill in the blanks. Now my first is 1069 I have to add something to this number so my that my answer remains the same. Yes, yeah, so my answer will be 0. It means when I, as we have done earlier then when 0 is added to any number the answer is the number itself. Now 9999 plus 734 is equal to 734 plus dash means this number is given and so my answer will be 9999 this is according to order property means I can write down these numbers in any order next 8536 plus dash is equal to 8500 
37 so as you can notice this is the next number the very next number or the successor of this number yes so i will add 1 as we have done earlier in the properties of addition that whenever we add 1 to any number the answer is the successor of that number next example if 2472 plus 528 is this then 528 plus 2472 is equal to dash means I have changed the order of these numbers but as I know that answer will remain the same so my answer is 3000 only this is the order property of addition okay last example if 1125 plus 125 I have that these numbers in brackets plus 750 is equals to 2000 then okay then I am given this but I have changed the brackets now I have changed the brackets to these numbers but that's okay this is which property grouping property but my answer will remain the same so my answer is 2000 this is the grouping property I hope you have understood properties of addition okay so we will talk about properties of subtraction in my next class bye bye